Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we're taking a look at another portable SSD. This one holds 480 gigabytes. This is from PNY, and we're going to be putting this one through its paces. It's called the Elite Portable SSD. Now, before we get into this review, I do want to mention in the interest of full disclosure that PNY provided this to the channel free of charge. We'll be using this for on-the-road video editing at CES. However, all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. No one is paying for this review, and no one is reviewing this content before it is posted. Now, there isn't much to see here from the exterior hardware side, just a nice uh, metal casing here on this device. Uh, there is a small light here to indicate when it is on and operating, and you'll see here a traditional USB 3.0 micro connector there uh, on the back. You can, of course, uh, get a cable to uh, run from this USB 3 micro connector to USB Type-C if your uh, computer only has those ports, like the new MacBook that's coming out very soon. So uh, you can, of course, make this work with just about anything that's out there, and it's probably time to do that. So let's plug this in and see how it performs. All right, so let's try a sequential test first. We'll run the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test, and you'll see it starts off really nicely here, getting writes at close to 400 megabytes per second, or thereabouts, which is very good. Now, we're going to let this test cycle a little bit because you're going to see that write performance diminish over time. So we're getting uh, decent read speeds, around 385 megabytes per second. And now when we go on to the second round here, we'll maintain that speed, but soon you're going to see that write speed uh, start to drop off because its cache fills up and it can't write to its flash memory quick enough uh, as we're going through this operation here. So the test speed will uh, decline over time. You'll see this on some of your other tests as well there. So now, uh, because we're just killing this drive right now, uh, our writes are stuck at about 114 megs per second here. And I think that's about where it will settle in. Uh, so if you are doing a lot of sequential writing, like writing large files, like a Blu-ray MKV or something to it, it'll begin copying very quickly, but then it will begin to level off because you will fill that cache up. So if you're doing a lot of uh, quick hits to it, like dragging over, you know, a couple of gigabytes at a time, it should go over pretty quickly at close to that 400 megabyte speed, but the average really will be less than that uh, for larger files because it does reduce as that cache fills up. And I also tested random reads and writes using the Crystal Disk Mark. We got reads at 18.5 megabytes per second and writes at around 30.9 megabytes per second, comparable to other portable SSDs I've tested. Let's take a look now at some video editing on it. All right, so here is a multi-camera 4K video editing project running in Final Cut Pro. As you can see here, it's able to deliver two 4K streams simultaneously to my computer so that I can edit and not get a lot of uh, uh, lag or other things happening that might make my work less efficient. So that's why you choose an SSD like this for a lot of high-end video work. It's almost like getting a little RAID array uh, in something that you can fit in your pocket. And of course, it has no moving parts and very rugged for when you're out in the field. So decent performance out of this thing on par with other external SSD solutions we have looked at. Uh, so definitely worth taking a look at. Just know that like other ones we have tried, uh, there is a bit of a drop off when you're writing really large files to it. They start off fast and will uh, slow down to about where a traditional external hard drive might be on the right side of things as far as writing to it. Uh, but when you're reading from it, you will see pretty consistent speeds uh, as we just saw here, both in the benchmark and on the video editing. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporter Eric. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.